many aspects of the ramayana have been uh, narrated in different ways and <clears throat> a few maybe a few years ago somebody had sent me a u- video apparently it's there on youtube there's the halya story has been rendered in a different way by some uh, by some modern filmmaker or whatever where the basic storyline is that there is this attractive looking woman and whoever gets attracted to her she is married to someone else but whoever gets attracted to her that person gets turned into a stone because it is that person's attraction it is that person's wrong desire which is the problem so the the underlying subtext is that actually ahalya was a victim and it was she was punished although she was a victim but actually the one who should be punished is the opposite so let's look at basically the story ahalya is a chaste wife of a great sage and she is a, a she is a yogini her husband is a yogi and she is a yogini and while they are living together in the forest at that time her husband goes for a bath and when he when he is gone suddenly he returns and he wants to be with her so she is a little surprised but what has actually happened is that it is indra who has impersonated as her husband and has come because she is so attractive and he wants to be with her and then um indra unites with her and then while he is leaving at that time her husband comes back and when he sees what has happened he gets enraged and he curses both indra and ahalya and indra is cursed to indra is said to have indra is a very powerful being so he is cursed in a, to become deformed now he is deformed in a particular way that his whole body becomes covered with a thousand reproductive organs this is as if a female reproductive organ says so you are so you are so captivated by that let that fill your body so indra becomes mortified embarrassed and he says please forgive me please forgive me and finally his uh, changes to his changes to a uh, thousand eyes so so sahasra yoni sahasraksh that's the word that is used sometimes it's sometimes used for the supreme lord and is also used for the it's used for the virat rupa sometimes it's used also for indra and then he turns towards ahalya and he curses ahalya says you become a stone now ahalya beg falls at his feet and falls at begs for forgiveness but still he curses her so this seems to be there are several aspects over here now why why does he get cursed like this so this is the indra in it is because of indra's cunningness that he is able to exploit ahalya so indra is cursed and ahalya is also cursed so the common story line is that ahalya is a victim one is that there was one man's lust and another man's anger and in between she gets victimized well yeah it seems like that but this story is told in various places in the ramayana itself there is a clear mention of some significant detail that is overlooked and then beyond that there is there are details which are told in other puranas also so what is one very significant detail that is say was a halya a victim not exactly a halya was it is a it is a quick conclusion it's an easy conclusion to come to but it is we can't be so fast a halya was also a yogini and she recognized it was indra who had impersonated as her husband and yet when she saw her coming saw him coming now she felt gratified delighted that the king of the gods had gone so far gone through such lengths to be with her and then she succumbed to that that thrill that she got over there so it was now we could say indra was decidedly devious he was wicked and because uh, he made a whole cunning plan to do something terrible uh, terrible but in contrast ahalya had a moment of weakness 
So she didn't go about scheming the way Indra did. But she also had a moment of weakness. It was not that she was completely faultless or completely ignorant. She knew what was happening, but somehow she succumbed at that time. 